What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make text pop-up in Vegas Pro 15. Now, to do this is really simple. So you can have text which was made in Photoshop, or you can have text directly from Vegas. So I'm going to head over to Media Generators, I'm going to come all the way down, I'm going to come to Legacy Text, and I'm going to drag and drop on one of these. I'm simply going to change a text to something, just simple. And I'm going to press Control A, size it down, and choose a different font. So there we go. Uh, for those wondering what font it is, it's Big Noodle Titling. I'm going to X out of it. And now this is where we create the effect. So super simple. First of all, we're going to trim down the text um, to how long we want it to actually be on screen. Now I'm going to go to three seconds. I'm just going to drag this down. So now the duration of our text is three seconds. I'm then going to come to the beginning. And there is two ways to do this. It can be with the track motion. If you do it with the track motion, it affects everything on this track. Or you can do it with the pan and crop, which will only affect this specific clip. Now it's completely up to you which one you pick. It's the same technique. So I'm going to show you the pan and crop. Now from here, just zoom out with the mouse wheel. And then you want to have size about center highlighted along with lock aspect ratio. So you can see they're like that come to a corner and you're simply going to drag it out as much as you can like that so you can see this is the max I can go now we come across on our timeline so have sync cursor checked and come across maybe five frames now this all depends how long you want um, your text to take to come out so I'm at five frames now all I'm going to do is right click and restore then let's say we want it to go back in the same way it came out so I'm going to come across to the very end because of course this is three seconds I'm just going to lay down a keyframe then I'm going to go back five frames and all I'm going to do is lay down a keyframe again now from here on the very last keyframe we're going to drag this all the way out now this is what we've done so playing it through you can see that short animation there so it's a snapping into place and then it goes off the same way it came in now what I recommend you do if you do the pan and crop version you can see we can already see our text and we can no longer make it any smaller just simply add a little fade at the start a few frames so like that three seconds you can see it hides it three seconds at the end now you can see that's how it looks now if you do it with the track motion, you can actually hide the entire text. So I'll show you that very quickly. So coming to track motion, if you don't see it, press these three lines. Come to edit visible button set. Make sure track motion is checked and select OK. And it will appear here. Now you can see it looks exactly like the pan and crop tool. We're going to do the exact same thing again. Make sure lock aspect ratio is highlighted along with scale about center. But this time, instead of dragging it all the way out, we're going to drag it in. And you can see this makes the text smaller and we can go all the way so we can keep zooming in and keep zooming in you can see the text has literally disappeared so again we're going to come across in our timeline I'll go to six frames this time I'll right click restore box let's put the text on I'll come to the end lay down a keyframe I'll go back five frames lay down a keyframe again and then on the very last frame I will simply um, come to the corners and bring it all the way back in just like this pretty simple to do using track motion or pan and crop 